Do you ever have those days where you're just overwhelmed and it feels like everything that could go wrong goes wrong and you just can't catch a break and it's just downhill? One thing after the other, after the other, after the other. Let's talk about what to do when you're overwhelmed and when you're stressed. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Devonay. We're gonna talk about what to do. Let's get right into it. So I noticed my day was going really rough today. So I wanted to share with you what are some of the things that I do when I'm feeling stressed, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, when I'm feeling like I just need to come back to center, when I'm really frazzled. One of the first things to do is to take notice. So that's tip number one, is when you notice when you're overwhelmed or when you just feel like you can't handle anything, it's just take notice of where your energy is. Where is your body at? So tip number two, after noticing that I'm stressed out or if I'm off balance is to take three deep breaths. And this just came from doing yoga for so many years that just like, okay, let me see where I'm at. Let me check in and like find some awareness with my breath. So after tuning in and just noticing where I'm, my emotional body is, the second thing that I do is I just take three deep breaths. And what this does is it helps to soothe ner the nervous system so you can actually be able to handle stress better so you can think more clearly. So that's tip number two is just wherever you're at, if you're rushing from place to place, just stop where you are, notice how you are, check in with your body, notice the emotions and just and exhale out your nose. The third tip is take some cooling breaths. And in yoga, this means that your inhale is actually going to be for a longer count than your exhale. My bad family, it's the exhales are longer than your inhales. That's what makes it a cooling pranayama breath. When you exhale through your, through your mouth, so you would inhale for, let's say, a count of four. And exhale for a count of six. And so just really tuning into your breath will help you to be calm. So that's tip number three is to take a more cooling uh, yogic breath, pranayama breathing practice using counting to help you really get your focus off of whatever you're frustrated on and have it really focus on the length of your inhalations versus the length of your exhalations. So tip number four, when I am really stressed or really flustered is to just tell myself, just let it go because it's really not that important. When you think about the tiny things that we stress ourselves out about every day, it's really not that big a deal, dude. Like, just let it go. There could be worse things going on in life. And tip number five is just have some gratitude. So just think of three things that you're grateful for, because that's what I end up doing. Like, you know, there could be so many other things that could happen, but here I am, I'm living, I'm breathing. I have a beautiful heart and I'm safe. What more can I ask for? I'm just having a frustrating moment at some point in my day and that's okay. So yeah, those are five of the tips that I help to use myself calm down. It's just breathing, taking notice, having some gratitude, counting my breaths and just using my pranayama and my awareness. So it's a practice that we use in yoga. It's something that you can also do. And if you are feeling extra stress, then my other recommendation as just a cherry on top is to go to YouTube. There are some other videos and look up Yoga Nidra. I equate Yoga Nidra to taking a nap without actually sleeping if I don't have time to allow my body to just fully go into a nap or if I don't want to wake up kind of groggy. It just gets your body nice and rested and by the time you're done with your Nidra, it feels like your body took a nap. So that is all for today. I just wanted to come and get you guys some information on what I hope to use when I'm feeling completely overwhelmed and completely stressed. So I will see you on the next video next Monday. And sorry I missed last week. Look guys, I told you mostly every Monday. Remember, do you remember that? Most, mo mostly every Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I will see you guys next Monday. And next Monday, I'm gonna talk about some herbs for you guys, especially as we're going through the winter season. We're gonna talk about some adaptogenic herbs that are great for the spring. So I will see you next week. Bye. Ah. Girl. <laughs> but you know we keep the music at the end of the video though, right? I 
love sharing music because it evokes emotions and feelings. This song made me, it just brought back so many memories of my childhood from doing my hair, because you know I kind of got some thick hair. The song is called Tender Headed. Something about the beady beat naps. <laughs> you know what beady beats are. How come, how come we've been through my naps drinking my phone, my cradle hit the floor, tender head, my head's on strong. How come, how come, how come I can't say what the phone I won't say? How come, how come tender bread, but I